In today's video, I'm gonna be reviewing eight ties from my closet and looking at how they stack up in terms of value. I'm Andrew and I love curating clothing through the lens of value to help you buy less and buy better. So to start off this video, this is my second tie review video. And in my first video, I talked about the 10% rule. And that is that of the things in your closet, maybe 10% of the clothes you own are clothes that you really love, that make you smile, and that deliver value well beyond what you paid for them. And similar to my first tie review video, I think the current selection of ties is going to nicely illustrate that concept. Because while there are eight ties that are all kind of around the same price new, of these ties, you know, one is in my 10%, and it's <laughs> actually a tie I've worn more than all the remaining ties combined. As far as value, I do like ties just because um, a good one can last many, many years. And since sizing doesn't change, since they're not subject to wear the same way that shoes, pants, and shirts are, for example, um, they typically last a pretty long time. Another thing that I like about ties is because um, they don't really wear too much, because the sizing is pretty ubiquitous, if you buy good brands, it's not too hard to sell ties you don't find yourself wearing at a decent price on the secondhand market. Whereas, by contrast, there are not a ton of people um, looking to buy a dress shirt that has a year of wear on it. In this video, I'm gonna be moving from right to left and tiering these ties based on value. So starting uh, off with the ties that, for me personally, have provided the least value for money, and by working my way up to the ties that, again, for me personally, have provided the most. It's worth noting that why a tie provides value to me is largely a product of my own tastes and preferences. Um, and so your mileage uh, may vary and you might draw different conclusions. And as I mentioned in my previous tie video, I do want to say I didn't purchase all of these ties. I've gotten some as gifts. Um, and of the ties that I did purchase, I didn't purchase all of these ties new. But with that said, I do um, want to caveat that, you know, Brand new, most of these ties would be around the same price point. So if you, the viewer, were interested in buying these ties, um, buying new is almost always an option, whereas buying secondhand or buying at a discount may or may not always be an option. So the point of orientation for this video will be the um, MSRP for these ties. So let's start with um, the bright red and purple ties on the right hand side, which are in my personal bottom tier. This first tie is a bright red pattern silk tie from Salvatore Ferragamo, which would retail for about $200 new. And I'm a big fan of Ferragamo ties. Um, and I think there is just a, a fineness and thinness to the silk that makes them tie really, really well. And while I have some blue and purple Ferragamo ties that I personally really love, I uh, saw this tie online, uh, maybe chasing the, the dragon a little bit with some of the previous ties that I bought and really loved. Um, and purchase this one in this bright red color. And I actually have yet to wear it. I personally typically wear navy and gray suits, the plain white or blue shirt, and generally gravitate towards more subtle colors. And this tie is just something that uh, doesn't really fit with my preferences. I think, you know, it's, it's a super bright red and um, almost seems like something uh, a politician should wear. Um, rather than myself. So this next tie is a silk pattern tie by Keaton. Retails for about $300 new and it's really well made. And I think I will wear it at some point just because I like this kind of deep dark purple color. I think it pairs super well with navy and gray. But so far I haven't had the chance to wear this tie. And the pattern is just a little bit on the, the bigger and bolder side for myself, which I think just makes a bit of a statement. And for that reason, you know, when I've had an occasion to wear a tie, I've just gravitated um, in a different direction just because I do have some um, kind of similar uh, purple ties, some of which are on this table. This next tier of ties are the middle um, five ties on this table. They are the um, yellow tie, this orange tie here, these two blue ties, and this purple tie. So I'm gonna start with this um, first yellow um, tie, it has some light blue and white accents. And um, 
you know, this is actually um, by Brioni. It's one of the first ties I've had um, in my collection. And it's something that uh, I bought in my first job. Um, and since then, my preferences have changed a fair amount. Yellow is not a personal favorite color of mine. It doesn't pair super well with my hair and my hair is on the darker side and, and skin tone. So um, I think um, yellow, uh, you know, definitely um, seems to play a little bit better if you have lighter hair. So this is not a, a tie that's fallen, that uh, I wear frequently. It's kind of fallen out of my rotation um, um, these days. The next tie is this really elegant orange tie by Hermes. It retails for about $215 new. This tie, again, is probably not something that uh, I typically buy, you know, probably really didn't need a, another tie in my collection, but, you know, was on an international trip and, and saw it and, you know, bought it to kind of commemorate and um, remember the trip. And, you know, for that reason, it's a tie that I um, sort of think of fondly. Um, and, you know, it, it is a nice tie, I think. Um, the, the orange is a really nice color to wear in the fall. It goes well with um, navy and gray. And so um, I've worn this one uh, a couple times, um, but um, not, not, um, not as much as some of the others on this table. I do think um, it, it's a nice tie. The quality is good, but um, you know, again, Ferragamo probably are my favorite, um, you know, is my favorite brand of, of tie. Just the, the quality, the fineness, the way that it ties. I like how they're sort of thinner. Uh, I think that makes the, the knot tie really well. And so for that reason, um, probably my, my favorite brand, but definitely the quality is um, evident with this tie. Um, and, you know, it's one that uh, for personal reasons, I do um, think of fondly and, you know, I'm glad that I purchased it. This next tie, this light blue tie, is from a brand called E. Marinella. There's actually a, a Bloomberg article doing a profile on the brand um, and, you know, had great things to say about uh, this Italian tie maker. And so that really kind of piqued my interest and motivated me to purchase this tie. It's a light blue tie. It has red and white accents and it looks great with a navy or gray suit. Um, it's, it's a super nice tie. I think, you know, again, I prefer um, some of the Ferragamo ties that I own, but the quality is evident and um, I really like the, the color of it. The next tie on this table is a Ferragamo tie. It's a dark blue pattern tie um, with a really fine print on it. I, I like it, um, you know, it's a in a navy blue color, but the pattern does have a fair amount of white um, interspersed with the blue. And when I do wear a navy tie, I'm look, typically looking for that kind of dark uh, blue color. So um, just given how much white is in the pattern, I do find myself gravitating towards uh, different navy ties that I do have in my collection, but have worn this one a couple of times and um, do, do like it. This last tie, uh, purple tie, is a Brioni tie. It would retail for a little bit under $300 new. Um, and, you know, in this kind of middle tier, it is the one that I've worn the most. There's something just kind of unique about it. It does have this kind of bright pinkish um, pop of color, but it's not kind of too much. Um, and so for that reason, I have worn this tie uh, a decent amount um, and I like it a lot. Um, Brioni ties are typically a little bit on the wider side. This one's uh, no exception. And yeah, I don't, don't mind it. Um, I do have uh, a little bit of a wider um, chest and shoulders uh, a little on the bigger side so um, no issues with having a wider tie and you know quite like this one but you know not quite um, not quite on the level of uh, this last tie here which is um, you know kind of in the the top tier and it's probably the tie that I've worn more than all of these other ties combined this tie is by Ferragamo it has it's a silk tie with a very very fine print and it's kind of this purple pinkish color um, and it retails for about $200 new. This tie is, you know, something I really, really love. I've worn it more than all these other ties combined and it pairs super, super well with navy and gray. And there's something about this tie that's really um, subtle, but at the same time, um, it stands out. And, you know, if you see it, um, you know, the way you see it in the light or you're just kind of wearing it in person, 
there's an element where you'll kind of like look at it, but then um, you kind of um, find yourself looking back at it. Um, and I think it's just the, the color combination is a little bit unique. It's uh, kind of a purple pinkish color, which isn't, you know, as common, right? It's like a, a bright red or an orange or a, a blue. Um, and because the, the pattern is just super, super fine, there's kind of like a, a like an iridescence to it, um, just as different shades of color blend into each other. And for me, I, I really like it. <laughs> I really think that it, it goes well with kind of like simpler, more plain clothing, like, you know, this white shirt or a, a solid blue shirt and a solid suit. It just adds the kind of right amount of color and interest um, to an outfit. And so for that reason, I, I really do like this tie. I <laughs> wear it a lot and, uh, you know, have been trying to uh, find ties kind of similar to this, but, um, you know, haven't had a ton of success. So like this tie, wear it a lot. And, um, you know, I guess um, my uh, kind of uh, takeaway here is, uh, you know, probably don't <laughs> uh, don't need to have as many ties as I do. Um, you know, I've gotten as much wear out of one as uh, the remaining seven on this table. Um, and if I was going to do it all over again, probably would not have um, bought as many of these ties as I did. But I think one of the the fun parts about um, kind of the the journey and and buying and trying things is you figure out what you like, what you don't like, and what works for you and one of the nice things about ties is you can buy a really kind of top of the line uh, model for, um, you know, uh, significant cost, but not, um, you know, tremendous cost. Um, uh, some of the kind of best brands you can buy for around a, a couple hundred dollars new. And so it's definitely possible to try different things and um, figure out what you like and don't like. Whereas, you know, with shoes and suits, it's, um, definitely more of a, an investment and um, you don't get as much opportunity to sort of experiment. And with ties, I think one of the benefits as well is there's kind of a, a level of them being a commodity in that, you know, they're they're all roughly the same size, they don't wear a lot. And so if you buy a Ferragamo or a Mez tie and you don't like it for some reason, you probably aren't gonna get all your money back. But if you, you did want to sell it secondhand, there's, there's a pretty healthy market for it. Um, so that's, that's a wrap on this tie video. Uh, I guess my second tie video now. If you have any questions, please ask them in the comments below. Uh, I'm Andrew and I love curating clothing through the lens of value to help you buy less and buy better. Thanks for joining.